ChatGPT is kicking off the natural evolution of developers. And some of you guys are not going to make it. That's facts. Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. The boy's back and out of it again one more time. In this video, I want to talk about this natural selection that's happening right now. Okay. Some people are going to make it. Some people are not going to make it. That's just the facts. Now I want to go in over this comment that I got today, one hour ago. And I said, let me go and do a video about this. And Leo Dragonheart 74 says, what's the point of even studying programming anymore? You can just use the chat GPT four for everything. What's to prevent it from being used by the buyer directly, right? Now everyone is out of a job. What's the point of even promoting your online coding school when we can just use this program to create websites? And my answer to this is forget that I even have a platform where we teach people how to code and how to get into the industry, right? Forget about that. The problem that you're having is you're ready to quit. You're ready to give up. You're ready to just say, you know what? I'm not even going to learn anything. I'm not going to learn how to code, right? shoot man this chat gpt thing it could basically write any type of text you tell it hey build me a whole website it can build you a whole website hey i want to sell products online build me a website that can build products online and sell products online etc this is what some of you guys are thinking i feel like a lot of you guys are not using your brain right just the basic stuff critical thinking i want to go back into you know the old days, right? When there was carpenters and there were manual tools. Now imagine this, the day that they came out with an electric saw, the day that they came out with a screwdriver. Can you imagine if most of the people that wanted to become a carpenter, right? Or just working construction, etc., right? Just said, man, why would I go in and learn how to become a carpenter, bro? There's tools that is gonna be way better than what I can do, right? I used to do this thing manually. I used to have a saw where I could just go in like this, right? Cut the tree off. And it took me two days to cut that tree to, to make it into a flat piece of wood so I could build something with it. Now there's electric tools. Why would I want to learn how to become a carpenter? I'm ready to quit, man. I'm just going to live right here under this tree and eat this apple when it falls on my head, right? Imagine if people were to be like that, okay? Or maybe the guy who in the 1900s, right? Early 1900s was riding around in a chariot where, with a horse, right? In let's say New York city, right? And he's like going through central park and he's just on his chariot. And one day he sees a car and he says, why am I going to be riding with this chariot? I'll try to do anything because look, there's a car there. I'm ready to just give up. Shoot. I'm not going to learn how to drive. There's probably guys that could do it better than me, right? I'm going to just stick right here on, on this little horse until this thing dies, right? Imagine if people thought like that. Guys, these things that you are seeing with artificial intelligence, they are just tools, okay? This is going to kick off the natural selection, right? And let's go into over here the definition of natural selection, right? It says, natural selection is the process through which species adapt to their environment. It is the engine that drives evolution. With that being said, right, this is the thing that's going to kick it off. Some of us is going to thrive and we're going to survive and we're going to be good, right? And some of you guys, y'all got to window somewhere and this shit might not be for you. Do you understand that? Now, which one do you want to be? Do you want to be the guy that's like, I'm already clocked out. I already got my sign that says I code for food. Hey man, I fix computers. I, I'll change your, your hard drive for, for food. If you already got that sign, go ahead, my guy, go in, in a corner and see how many people, you know, have any tasks for you. Shit. I got some, some leaves that you could come pick up in my house if you want, right? I'll give you a job. I'll help you out, right? This is the natural selection. Some people are supposed to be on top. Some people are supposed to be at the bottom. Some people cannot see themselves going to the top. And they stay stuck at the same bottom, not willing to learn anything, not willing to go and take it up a notch. Okay. These are just tools. You cannot continue with this mentality of I'm ready to just give up. I'm ready to just quit. 
This is why in 2023, we are coming out with the book of excuses. It's a 2000 page book, right? 1000 pages, right? Is going to have a bunch of excuses generated by chat GPT. So you guys can have always an excuse to basically quit on something. And then there's going to be another thousand pages, which is going to be having blank pages with just lines. So you can now write your own excuses whenever you come up with one. Whenever you want to quit on something, you have a thousand pages that you can find an excuse and another thousand pages where you could write in extra excuses that you come up with. Book of excuses coming soon. Okay. <laughs> With that being said, my guys, guys, this is the natural selection. I think this is a blessing in disguise for most of us. This is going to weed out a lot of people, a lot of people that just bullshit, a lot of people that not willing to do the extra work, right? A lot of people that's not willing to learn something new, right? A lot of people that is just, you know, they're supposed to be at the bottom. It sounds messed up, but it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not willing to go the extra mile, and learn the tools that's available to you, right? This thing is free. Imagine what, you know, the things that is not going to be free. That's going to be even more scarier for some of you guys, right? Now, um, addressing the last part of this comment section, what's the point of even promoting your online coding school when we can just use this program to create websites? Go ahead, use the program and try to build a website with it. Go ahead, right? Now, you also have to understand that codingphase.com it's a platform that's always going to teach people how to get into the industry. This is a business. This is pretty much a six, seven year old business that's been around already. Okay. We are evolving with the industry courses that we focus on and the things uh, that we focus on, on codingphase.com is not the same thing as 2017, 2018. Every year we evolve, right? What we do is basically go in and find opportunities for people to get into the tech industry and use technology to make money with. If tomorrow the Teletubby framework, the Jigglypuff at TensorFlow edition, right, comes out and this is what companies are asking for, guess what we're going to be teaching at Coding Face? It doesn't matter. To me, it's irrelevant. Whatever technology is there, it's irrelevant. Whatever tools are there, it's irrelevant. We always going to evolve with what's happening in the industry. Okay. Because our job is to basically simplify something that might be hard for someone and make it easier for them to understand. What makes Coding Face special is not the courses, it's the instructor. It's the person that's there, the person that's teaching the people breaking it down. I give you a great example. When you was in high school and you had a math teacher, right? That math teacher might be explaining something to you and he might have a, a degree from MIT. He might have a degree from Harvard, wherever the hell he got a degree from. But guess what? He might not be a good teacher. He might not be a good instructor. Students are still struggling because they cannot understand concepts that this teacher is teaching them and they still have to go to a tutor. Sometimes the tutor is better than the teacher, not because the teacher doesn't know what he's talking about, but he just doesn't know how to explain it to certain students. Then you go to a tutor and that tutor knows how to break it down for you and explain it better than the teacher. That's what we do at codingface.com. Okay. Always remember that, right? So we are going to always be good. This is just opportunities that we see in front of us. Okay. This gives us a bigger and broader audience. Now there's so many people that's interested in using chat GPT and using artificial intelligence to do their work better. And guess what? That also opens up the door for us to go in and now create another niche, right? Or another career path for people that don't want to learn how to code, but want to learn how to use this artificial intelligence tools. I mean, like, again, we always got to evolve and this is what you have to do too. You have to learn how to evolve with the times and the tools that's ahead of you. It's your boy, Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com. By the way, go check out Coding Phase. Uh, links in the description, get a 20% off. Check out the platform, okay? Everything that we have on codingphase.com is for you to either get a job or for you to start making money independently, okay? So if those are things that you are interested in, definitely go check out the description and get your 20% off. All right. So anyways, man, it's your boy, Joe. Peace.